The Soundstream PN1 1000D Picasso Nano is a tiny little amplifier that puts out some serious juice. It may fall short of its rated specs, but we were still surprised at what it actually put out based on its size. That's what she said. This compact amplifier comes in at just $150 and Soundstream rates the PN1000D 1000 watts RMS at 1 ohm, 600 watts RMS at 2 ohms, and 350 watts RMS at 4 ohms. Stay tuned in a few minutes for our amplifier power testing. Inside the box is an owner's manual, speaker level harness, remote bass control with extension, hardware, and compact amplifier. The PN1 1000D is seriously compact, coming in at just 11 and a quarters inches in length, five inches in width, and one and three quarters inches in height. It has a solid look with the typical Soundstream silver belt buckle. The power and protect LED indicators conveniently show the amplifier's status in case there's an issue to help prevent damage. The amplifier offers excellent flexibility when connecting to your signal source. A simple option is using the RCA inputs and connecting to the preamp outputs of your head unit, or use the included high-level harness to connect to the speaker-level outputs on the wiring harness on your factory stereo. No line output converter needed in situations where your head unit does not have RCA preamp outputs. Simple as a pimple. And this harness is barely noticeable in space-constrained mounting locations. For adjustments, the Nano features gain control, subsonic filter, bass boost, and a low-pass filter. Connect the remote to bass control to adjust levels up front. The Nano features two 40 amp fuses, as well as eight gauge speaker and power terminals. For power and ground connections, again, we recommend using four gauge wire. Be sure to check out our amplifier installation kits online at qualitymobilevideo.com, link in the bio. Okay, let's test this thing out. The first test we ran was single channel driven, one ohm, 40 hertz, 14.4 volts. Soundstream rates the amp 1000 watts RMS here. Our audio precision will generate our signal and measure distortion. Our HP 8903B audio analyzer picked up 587 watts RMS, 1.08% distortion, and 24 volts of output. Our AMM1 read 565 watts. We got 24 volts on the Lumi, and we drew 65.22 amps of current, and our voltage did drop. Going to 2 ohms, 14.4 volts, 40 hertz. Soundstream rates the amplifier 600 watts RMS here. Our HP picked up about 464 watts RMS, 1% distortion, 30.2 volts. The AMM1 read 450 watts RMS. We got 30.4 volts on the Lumi and we drew 42.30 amps of current. Down to 4 ohms, 14.4 volts, 40 hertz. Soundstream rates the amplifier 350 watts RMS here. Our HP picked up 297 watts RMS, 0.9% distortion, and 34.2 volts of output. Our AMM1 read 276 watts RMS, 33.4 volts on the Lumi, and we drew 23.76 amps of current. Our final test was on frequency response. We used our audio precision to run up each frequency. Overall, this is an impressive little amplifier for the cost. At just $150, despite falling short of its specs, you're getting a ton of power. This compact amplifier has great performance for its diminutive size and is a perfect way to amplify your system while keeping your budget on track. Be sure to go to qualitymobilevideo.com to get all of your car audio and video gear with us today. Links for everything in the bio below. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and click that like button. Join the conversation below and subscribe to our channel if you're new. Thanks for watching.